even more excited to be making music from these amazing parts of the world. We're going to be singing in eight different languages this evening, none of which are English. Uh, and you'll notice if you look at the program that there aren't any detailed program notes for tonight's concert. Sometimes I think it's better simply to let the music and the text speak for itself. I encourage you fully, though, to relish in the unique aspects of every piece on the concert this evening. Tonight's program is also a bit of an experiment in a few ways. Um, one of the most exciting and important aspects of being a conductor is deciding precisely how to program a concert. I have the opportunity to carefully curate your experience, much like a, a cook or a curator at an art museum. Um, my good friend and colleague, Curtis Dredge, who is an avid lover of choral music, jokes with me often when he comes to my concerts. He might be here tonight. Um, and he says, Chris, I have never really loved modern choral music, but somehow you always manage to make me appreciate it more than I thought it would. And sometimes I even like it. <laughs> Tonight, tonight's concert is full of modern music, as you can see from the program. And it's carefully curated to show you how amazing this music is and how distinct these cultures are. To help accomplish that this evening, the chamber choir and our treble ensemble are going to take turns singing. You can see that they're both on stage, um, and they're both going to be on stage practically the entire time. They're sharing music as much with each other as they are with you this evening. Um, they enjoy sharing the stage together and supporting each other being, being up there. So it's going to take a moment, a moment for us to move occasionally, um, but I believe that the music is better curated this way. Feel free to clap after any of the pieces this evening, unless there are multiple movements. So you'll see the next thing on the concert has four movements, and we'll do those continuously. I also um, will speak occasionally between the three large sets on tonight's concert. And lastly, I wanted to say that each of these cultures have rich and complicated histories and musical traditions. Both areas of the world have a remarkably vibrant choral scene. And this could be because they have a shared history of occupation, colonization, and oppression. What I found in studying the choral music of people who share that type of history is that choral music in particular is essential to their identity. I hope you consider that this evening as we share the music. 